Hey there, TRW crew, Matt Vassallo here again with rhinestoneworld.com. So this video is going to show you another way to work with the TRW Stone Editor and the Silhouette Designer Edition software. So this was another question we had about one of our TRW True Type fonts, and it's our Mom Sports Pack font, where you can do all the different designs in the actual True Type font. So I'm going to show you how that works real quick. So let's just grab our text tool here. I'm just going to type in a capital A. So the way this font is that we have available on the website at therhinestoneworld.com is I'm going to go over to my fonts in our TRW Stone Editor here and I'm going to click on the Mom Sports Pack font. Well just that letter A is signifying the word baseball. So how easy was that? Then obviously I'm going to drag this down here and now I'm going to type in M B M now I want to start with the outline first, just so I can play with the spacing. So I'm going to go lowercase mbm, and then our little text spacing tool here, you can see I'm going to drag it in a little bit, just click on it and get it nice and tight in there. Now I'm going to duplicate that and then double click. I'm going to put on my caps lock this time and then type mbm again. I'm going to turn that to let's say in orange, get that two color design. Now I'm going to highlight it all. I'm going to go to SS10s and resize the design. Now that's going to resize it all perfectly to 0.129 inch circles. I'm going to grab this baseball right here, same thing, resize the design. Now again, 0.129 inch circles. I'm going to drag this down here and I'm going to put it right here and it's just going to line up perfectly right here and now we have a baseball mom design so we just created that design literally in probably 30 seconds would be my guess now you zoom in a little bit you're gonna see our circles aren't perfect circles because it's a true type font you'll run in that issue sometimes with the true type fonts real easy just highlight the entire design SS tens replace the stones zoom in perfect circles fix that perfect circles everywhere so now what I want to do is I want to get it ready for the Silhouette Designer Edition software. So I'm going to highlight all of this. I'm going to add a weed box. That's going to give us a perfect weed box around it right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate just that box. So now there's two weed boxes because there's two colors. We need two templates. I'm going to click on one of my orange stones, select the same color. So it picked all of the orange stones. Then I'm going to hold shift and just click on the box. And that took the top layer of the box. I'm going to pull it down there. And we have a perfect sticky flock weed box now where they're going to line up perfectly. Okay, so the one thing you do want to do when you're saving as an SVG is you want your workspace to be bigger than your actual design. You can see our workspace down there. Real, real easy, just go to your layout and your page setup and just make it... I don't know, 15 by 20. Just make it so you know that it's bigger than the actual design. So you can see now it's larger than our entire design. So I'm going to highlight all of this and I am going to go File, Export, and I'm going to export that as, um, let's just do Z Baseball Mom Sample. I'm going to do Z just so I know it's at the bottom. I'm going to save it as an SVG, the Scalable Vector Graphic, and that's what's compatible with the Silhouette Designer Edition software. And I'm going to hit Export. I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to go to my Designer Edition software. And let's go ahead and get rid of this old file we were working on. And in the Designer Edition software, I'm going to go to File, and I'm not going to go Import to my library. I'm going to actually Open. So I'm going to go File, Open, in my Dropbox. I'm not going to find it if I look for a studio file because we didn't save it as a studio file. I'm only going to find it if I go here and go on All Files. So I'm going to click on All Files. I know I saved it at the bottom with a Z just so I could find it easier. So let's go... Let's see where that one saved. There's our Z Baseball Mom sample. I'm going to double click on that. And there you go. So as you can see, it came in as two black boxes where a lot of you run into the problem of, oh, the, the file, the design came in, but all I see is two black boxes. 
not a problem at all. The file's still there. That's just your sticky flock boxes that are showing. So if I actually click on this box here, and I'm going to right click, and then once I right click on it, then I'm going to actually ungroup it. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to select ungroup, and then click off of it. Now, the Designer Edition software sometimes does run a little bit slower, so as you can see, I'm trying to move it away there. Looks like it didn't ungroup it that first time, so I'm just going to go right click, ungroup, and just let it do its thing. It's, it's not the quickest program in the, in the world, but it's going to do what you want it to do. It's still, it's still a powerful program. It's still going to cut what you need. So there we go. Now if I grab the black box, you can see the baseball mom is all behind there. So it's going to cut perfectly. It's all still behind there. Actually, if I right click, let's see in the designer edition software what it's like. Um, send to back. There you go, you can see it. I'm going to right click on the bottom one here and send to back and you can see the mom part of the design. So you know it's there. Now what we need to do is we need to get our cut lines for it real quick and obviously we need to make sure that it's the right size. So I'm going to click on one of them there and you can see 0.13 inches. So it came through perfect at the right size as far as what you need. So sometimes people say when you, when you bring a file in it changes the size of it when you bring it into the designer edition software. Well, that's why you don't want to bring it in as import it to your library. You want to bring it in like this and just open the file as an SVG. And then it's going to bring it in to stay the same size, you know, at the 0.13 inches. So what we want to do then is we're going to highlight the entire design. And once we have the entire design highlighted, we're going to go to our cut tool over here and we are going to select the cut button. So we're going to select this cut link here and when we do that, that's what's going to highlight all of that red so you know that it's actually going to cut the design. So that's what's putting the cut lines around each spot of these little circles and the square. So this design is now done and ready to go ahead and send to your cutter now that you know you have the cut lines on it. So hope this video helped you out with the TRW Stone Editor, what you can do with it, how easy it is to manipulate your different designs and get it prepared for the Silhouette Designer Edition software. I know with some of our designs, some of the bigger designs with the higher stone count, the Designer Edition software sometimes has an issue and it kind of lags a little bit and it just can't keep up because it has so many different objects on it. That's why it's a lot easier in a program like Corel Draw to be able to do all your manipulation of the designs there, save it as the SVG, bring it over to the Designer Edition, then all you need to do is put your cut lines on it and send it to your cutter. So. Hope this video helped you out. Many of you have had questions regarding stuff like this, so we want to create a video to show you exactly what you can do with it and how it will speed up the process as far as you creating your designs and cutting your different sticky flock templates. So if you do have any questions about any of this, make sure to give us a call. Number's 941-755-1696. Everything you see here we have available on our website at therhinestoneworld.com as well as all the different rhinestone starter kits, the hotfix rhinestones, designs, everything else. So again, this is Matt with therhinestoneworld.com. We look forward to working with you soon. Hope you have a great day.